Hey pilots, Drain Man here, and today I want to show you guys how to quickly set up Express LRS. There are a million videos on how to do this, and they're an hour long, or they're not to the point, or it's this, or it's that. Forget about that. I'm going to show you guys how to quickly set up Express LRS. You have a radio, you have a drone, you want to fly watch this video, all right? Now, I'm gonna make some sort of video playlist and we can put troubleshooting and if you brick it and this and that, we'll get all that in there, but for right now, I wanna show you guys how to just quickly set it up. So the first thing you're gonna need is the Express LRS configurator. So let's jump into the PC. Okay, jump up in your browser, type in download Express LRS and press enter. You're gonna see your releases right here on your GitHub. Once you do that, you're gonna be on this page where you can download it. Go ahead and find the correct machine if you're running Mac or whatever. I'm running Windows, so I'm gonna select on this one right here and that's gonna go ahead and execute the download. If you're having a hard time finding it on your browser, I'll put a link down in the video description. Okay, once it's done, you can find your download. Go ahead and open it up and you're gonna walk through all these steps next it may say that uh, it's unsafe don't run it it's Express LRS it's open source it's safe run it go ahead and hit install and then if you want we can go back and we can remove the download executor because you won't need that and there's no point in clogging up your PC now if you're following along with drain man we're gonna jump into our folder Everybody should have their documents and they should have their FPV folder. You'll see in here I don't have an Express LRS folder, so I'm gonna right click, new folder, and I'm gonna say ELRS, okay? So that's gonna be our master folder where we keep all of our stuff ELRS, minus the program. We're gonna leave the program in the program files because that's where it exists, because that's where it downloaded, at least for me. All right, so let's continue on. So the first thing we need to make sure that we have is our Lewis script. So to get to that, I'm gonna press system, and I'm gonna head over here to my tools, and you can see all of my Lewis scripts. If you're on a different page, you may have to page over. See all these pages? So you may have to page over. Actually, while I got you right here, let's go ahead and page over to hardware. And we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna wanna look for our ADC filter. Do you see that? Go ahead and turn that off. Now, let's head back in, and we're back into our Lewis script, and I'm gonna see my Express LRS Lewis script. If you don't have that, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and put that on here really quickly. Flip your radio upside down, remove your SD card. You're gonna put your SD card into your PC. All right, so here's my SD card contents. If I go ahead and click on scripts and I open up tools, you'll see that all of this is already in here, including my Express LRS Lewis script. You don't have to remove your SD card from the radio. You can plug your radio directly into the PC and then head on down and open up your SD card contents that way. For me, I just find it more simple to remove the card put it in the PC, and then as you'll see, it pops up here. So we're gonna head into scripts, then we're gonna open up our tools, and you'll see right here, I have my Express LRS Lewis script. Now, let's just say you don't have that. Very quickly, for the guys who may not have that, you're going to open up your newly downloaded Express LRS configurator. Once you have this open, so we're gonna head down to our releases. I always go with the newest one, because they're actively working on this, so get yourself the best one you can find. Now we need our target. For me, my target is a Radio Master, so I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna select Radio Master, and it is a 2.4. There are two main frequencies that we run on, and that's 900 and 2.4. I prefer 2.4, run what you like, but make sure that your receiver matches your radio. This is important. So I'm gonna click on Radio Master 2.4, I'm gonna click on my device. Now we know which device we have, but maybe for you, you have a boxer, you have a ranger, you have whatever you may have. For me, it's the TX16S 2400, and the 2400 is that 2.4, and TX means transmitter. If you're seeing RX, that is a receiver, all right? So let's go ahead and click on that. 
And all I'm looking for right now is my Lua script. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Wi-Fi, which really doesn't matter at this time, and I'm gonna click download Lua script. All right, this is gonna save, I'll click save, but let's put it somewhere where we know where we're gonna find it, remember this? All right, pilots, so documents, then we're gonna head down to FPV, I'm gonna look for my ELRS, and I'm gonna hit save. Boom! Easy as that. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave our tools open. If you don't know how to get there, SD card, tools, well, scripts, tools, and then you'll be right here. Now we need to also open up, so right click, open in a new window, boom. Lay them side by side, nice and easy peasy. We're gonna head to FPV, ELRS, and then we're gonna grab this, drag and drop it over here, okay? Ooh, I have V2. Maybe I need V3. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so you're gonna grab V2, right click, delete, drag and drop. And there you go, that is now on there, ready to go. So I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna pull my SD card out, and I'm gonna put it in my radio. Here we go back in the bottom of the radio. Okay, so now the next step for us is to actually flash the radio. So let's jump into our Express LRS configurator. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our newest release. We're gonna get our target, which is our radio, like we talked about. This is the radio that we have, the 2.4 TX. We're gonna flash by Wi-Fi. We're gonna scroll down, make sure all this is the same. Don't touch this, you don't need to touch anything here. Later on we can discuss Wi-Fi, but right now we're just trying to quickly and fastly get this done. So you're gonna click on your binding phrase if it's not selected. Go ahead and pick a phrase. Write that phrase down, don't change that. It could be one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I don't recommend doing that. Use something a little specific to you, but it doesn't need to be some crazy password. It's not like somebody's gonna steal your bind to your <laughs> quad, so don't stress it like that. Mine is just simply, hey pilots, because you know the deal. <laughs> All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and do not click build and flash, you're just gonna click build. Success, all right, once you are done building, it's gonna pop up and you're gonna see what you see. Okay, so now that we have our file built and it's right here in our folder, ready to roll, we're ready to go ahead and put our radio onto Wi-Fi where we can take that file and then flash it over Wi-Fi. I know, very cool, but, if you're coming from an older firmware or you're jumping from an, you know, a, a stock radio firmware, it may give you a hard time and we may have to partition. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do this with you now. If mine does it, it'll be a great way to show you it happening. If it doesn't happen, then I'll still show you just to be safe. So let's go ahead and jump into the radio. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our Lua script. And right here, you're going to see Express LRS. And that is our Lua script. But watch this. If I turn this on, in the top left corner, you're going to see that it says Access Thor. Well, the reason why is because my Thor is powered up. This is my Thor module in the back. Well, that's no bueno. We need to connect to our internal because we want to flash our radio. But maybe you're doing your external module. If you have a Namimo or you have a Radio Master, whatever you may be running, if that's what you want to flash, even a beta, beta FPV, beta FPV radio, whatever it may be, you want to flash that. So we need to make sure that that is what's activated. So now I need to solve this problem and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to exit out of here and I'm going to get off of this external this is my setup the quad external what I want to do now is select a different model I have one built you may not have one built if you don't have one built go ahead and head into your model settings and you're going to scroll down and you're just going to simply turn off your external turn that off right and then you're going to go to your internal and you're going to turn that on and you're going to go to crossfire because it uses the crossfire protocol so now that we have the internal on and i did that by just switching models because i have two set up i have one internal and one external but you can do it however fits you best now i can go ahead and run my lua script and i'll go into my system and i'll click on express lrs 
and sure enough, you see Radio Master TX16. So now when I enable my Wi-Fi, I'm actually enabling the Wi-Fi of the radio and not the external module, but you'll do what's best for you. Oop, we don't want to touch that. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down to Wi-Fi connectivity. I'm going to click and I'm gonna enable Wi-Fi. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our Wi-Fi, very, very simple, and we're gonna see it here, see it right here, Express LRS. Now mine may connect because I have already connected in the past, but the password is just simply Express LRS. I'll show it to you. Let's hit connect. Okay, so mine has remembered the password, and it's going to open up this page right here. Let's go ahead and stretch it. But if you are unsure, the password is literally Express LRS. Just like that. This is your password. That's all you'll put in. Okay. So now we are on our radio's Wi Fi. Literally, I'm getting Wi Fi from this radio. It is being put out to my PC, as you can see here. So now we're going to scroll down. We can, if we want, we can confirm, make sure it's the right radio. And as you'll see, Radio Master TX16 S 2400. So we're connected to the correct radio. We've used the, connect, the correct firmware. If you're unsure of your firmware, let's just say you would have powered up your Wi-Fi, you would have jumped in here, and you would have read, oh, wow, this is a different match. Let me go re-download my firmware and get the correct build package. Okay, so now we're ready to choose file and go ahead and upload. But before we do, we need to put this file where we're going to find it. So here's everything that we're going to need. I'm going to open up in a new window my ELRS file, and I'm going to grab this bin file, and I'm going to drop it right here, okay? Now we're going to come back. We're going to hit choose file, and we already know it's going to be in our ELRS folder. But if you don't remember how to get there, documents, FPV, ELRS and there's our file and I'm going to hit open. All right, now you see we have the correct file selected and now it's as simple as update. And it may not work and that's due to the partition, so let's see what happens. Failed, not enough space. Ugh. Well, no need to worry and I'm kind of glad that this happened so I can show you what to do to fix it. So we're going to say okay, no big deal. We're going to go ahead and get back onto our regular Wi-Fi because we're not going to be able to operate on that Wi-Fi. We're going to need to jump over to the Express LRS website. Okay, so on this website, I went ahead and downloaded the repartitioner right here from the Express LRS website, the Quick Start. I'll put a link for this so you know where to find it. Let's see if it's in downloads. There it is, repartitioner bin. So now this is very simple. We're going to jump back onto our Wi Fi, take a peek, and I'm going to hit connect. Okay, so now that we're connected back to our radio's Wi Fi, we're going to go ahead and hit choose file. And we're going to go to downloads because we just downloaded this repartitioner. We're going to click open and we're going to click update. It should tell us it's a mismatch. We're going to flash anyways, force update, and we should be good. What we're going to do is we're going to head into our system, Express LRS, let it reload, Wi Fi connectivity, enable Wi Fi. Let's get our Wi-Fi running. We're gonna click here. We should see it pop up. Express LRS, connect. Okay, we are now connected back to our page. If it's telling you that it doesn't want to connect, okay, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna choose file as normal. It should reopen the file that you already had open, but if not, remember where we put it. Documents, FPV. ELRS, Radio Master, open. Now we should have no issues flashing this firmware. If it was giving you a hard time or your Wi-Fi doesn't want to reconnect, remember to power cycle your radio. So I'm going to hit update, and now we should be able to successfully flash. All right, just flashed. Please wait. Oh, what do you know? We have updated successfully. Please wait a few seconds while the device reboots. Okay, and then you'll notice that it's kicked it out of Wi-Fi because the system has successfully rebooted. 
So now that my radio is powered off, it is flashed with the latest firmware, the latest Lewis script, and I have my binding phrase on here locked and loaded. The only thing left to do now is to go ahead and get our receiver set up. You can use any receiver you want. I have a uh, Axis Flying Thor right here. We could use this if we wanted to, but I've got this brand new Fox Air ELRS with a T antenna. I say we give this one a shot. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. We're going to pour it out. And there's our receiver right there. Look how small, compact, very powerful, and very, very nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to wire this up. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's labeled very nicely. We have our R, our T, our V, and our G. And that's very, very simple. That is your RX, your TX, your voltage, your ground, ground. So grab your soldering iron, a little bit of solder. And I'm going to show you how to do this now. So on our first pad, and you may be using another receiver, like for example this one. But notice we have ground, voltage, RX, TX. That's it. There's four connections with any ELRS receiver. It doesn't matter your model, your brand, and they can all work together. I can connect this one to that module. I can connect this one to that radio. That radio can connect to that one. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're on 900, 900, or 2.4, 2.4. So we're going to put a little solder on our RX, a little solder on our TX, our voltage, and finally our ground. Now, I go ahead and recommend color matching. So for ground, I'm going to use black. Boom. And then for power, we're going to use red. And it's literally this simple. Okay. Now, for your TX and your RX, they've given us some extra colors here. I would just use white and yellow if it was me. So what I would do is I would go yellow to TX. Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. there it is. And then I would go white to RX. Boom. Okay, so as you can see, those are wired up. Boom. Here's a receiver right here. This is also a ELRS receiver. Look how tiny. This is smaller than my thumbnail. And that is a full on ELRS receiver with a built in antenna. How incredible is that? We stay color coded for a reason. 5 volt. Okay. And right next to it is a ground. So my TX is the top one and my RX is the bottom one. So from my receiver, I'm going to go ahead and take a look. White is R. So that means white needs to go to T. Boom. Now my yellow is T, so that means it needs to go to R. They need to be on the same UART. Mine is UART 2. Now which receiver do we have? We have the Foxier receiver. So how to use Express LRS. Let's jump in. You ready guys? Back into the PC really quickly. Follow along. Let's bang this out. So we're going to open up our configurator. Boom. We're going to go to our earliest releases. Oops, I did not mean to open release notes. We're going to go to our earliest release, our target. Our category is going to be Fox Ear. Now it's 900 to 2.4. I have 2.4. You probably have 2.4 as well. Our device. We have two options. We have the Fox Ear Lite. 2.4, I believe that's their module, and then you have the 2.4 RX, which is what we have. We want to flash via Wi-Fi. We want to leave all this the same, remember? Leave it all the same. And then your binding phrase should preload, just like mine did, because I've used it before, and Express LRS is awesome like that, so it remembers it for you. If not, make sure you type those numbers, characters, exactly the same. Whatever they were, make sure they're the same, because if they're not, <laughs> You're just never going to connect. All right, so we want to go ahead and hit build. Your receiver does not need to be on during this time. We are just building the file and we're going to be saving it on our PC. As you can see, it's done and there it is, saved right there. So all we need to do now is we need to open our ELRS in a new window. <clears throat> and that's so we can find everything and you don't need to save them after once it's flash it's flash But I'm gonna drag it over and drop it in so right there It's accessible and we're gonna go ahead and plug in our quad for me It's just a stack laying on my bench with a receiver connected to it But for you, it's probably gonna be an entire quad So what you're gonna do is you're gonna power it up watch this 
So approximately 30 seconds down the line, this flashing orange is going to change to a quick flash. It may even change colors, I'm not sure. Once you see that start flashing quick, that means you're now putting out Wi-Fi. Okay, so we're flashing green and it's flashing colors. That means we are now putting out Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and pull up our Wi-Fi. And what do you know? There it is. See what I'm saying, Paz? This is just like, <laughs> it just works every time. I mean, well, at least for me, that's been my experience. But if you're having troubles, we will get to it. So open it up, press connect, and it should connect. If it doesn't pull up the 10.0.0.1, you can just type that in a browser and you're gonna get this page, boom. Okay, so I have a targets mismatch. You wanna always read this because if you've picked the wrong target, you can run into some serious problems, but we know that we're on Fox here. We know this is Fox here and it tells us right here that sometimes this can happen because the hardware flash was from the factory and they just had a different name on it. So we're gonna hit flash anyways. We want a force update. All right, so it told us that there was a model mismatch. We did a force update and it appeared that it worked, but it also appeared that it didn't work. And I'm gonna tell you with Express LRS, sometimes it works, but it just doesn't tell you it worked. So let's not get stressed out. Let's go ahead and power up our receiver. And I'm gonna go ahead and power up our radio. And let's just take a quick peek. Oh, look at that. I got full bars right here. See them? Boom, and then I've got a light blue light on my receiver, so everything went fine. Even though it said that it didn't, or it seemed as if it didn't, we updated just fine. So that's really great news. Let's go ahead and open up Betaflight. We're on our final steps. You're, I mean, you're connected, so if you know what to do from here, go rock and roll. But if not, let me show you really quick. Okay, so I am now connected to Betaflight. As you can see, my quad is live, which it's not really a quad, it's just a stack, but now we're gonna go ahead and power it up to give our receiver power, let our receiver connect to our radio. You just heard the radio say that it's been connected. We're gonna go to our ports. We wanna make sure that we're serial RX to UR2, and then we're gonna head down to our receiver, and as you can see, I've already got all of my sticks working. You're gonna need serial UR, you're gonna need crossfire, and you're gonna to wanna to hit save. And then in your port section, you saw how we selected TX2 and RX2 on our flight controller. If you were TX3 and RX3, you would have put your serial RX onto UART3, just like that, okay? You may need to set up switches. I've got a full video on how to do that. I'll link that video down for you in the video description. So, I try to keep this video as short as I can. I try to show you how to quickly and easily set this up. I had to flash my radio. If you don't have to do any of that, all you've gotta do is plug in your receiver, wait 30 seconds, 60 seconds, it's gonna to connect to Wi-Fi, slap that firmware on there, and get up in the clouds. All right, pilots, that's gonna do it. Our receiver is connected, we are bound, we are locked, we are loaded. Your receiver should come with a little bit of heat shrink. Make sure you put that on your receiver to protect it. You don't wanna put a bare receiver inside of your quadcopter. I hope that you guys found this video to be helpful. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.